Three, two, one, go. What's up guys? It looks like 1.76 is now available. Um, so I don't really know what a lot of these are, but uh, 1.76 fixed vertex color space selector for OBJs. I have no idea what that means. Stroke, add randomize option. So maybe I'll have to figure out what that is. Interface, split stroke options into sub menu. So I'll look for that. Save, saving new file was wrongly opening a project pop-up. I keep seeing that on 1.76 as well. Layer, fixed layer being corrupted when sculpting with offset greater than one. Um, a little over my head. I don't really know. I don't really use, know what the offset is, so I don't really use it. But maybe we can see what all that is about. So let me just screenshot this. I'll keep uh, 1.7 in there too, so that's coming out soon. So the first one was the, the stroke menu. Okay, so here's the first thing I see. There's like a little house. What is the, oh. Okay, so this kind of zooms in at right in the front. They both kind of do the same thing. I know that zooms all the way out. So I guess that just shows everything in the scene. I wonder if I put something far away, if it'll, uh, let's see what happens if I just add something. All the way out here. Let's see. Okay, so it kind of just shows the center of everything. So it'll show everything in the scene and it'll kind of like center it, whatever in the middle of these two. Okay, so what is this? Oh, does that go to, so that might go to, let's see if I, if I do the toe beans. Okay, so that centers in on whatever you chose. Okay, that's cool. That makes sense. And home still goes to the home, still goes to everything. Okay, cool, cool. So, what else was there? I don't even remember. Let's see. Um, next is <clears throat> add randomize option. Stroke, add randomize option. Split stroke option, options into sub menu. Stroke. I know like stroke painting, but what is the other? center in on this stroke I really don't know oh hmm so what if I use paint lock radius lock intensity so this is a little I think this was on 1.75 as well randomize I don't know what that is. So let's open up something new. Let's just open up something new and I'll put it to lit PBR. And I'll just change it to, I'll just make it a color. Change the background a little bit too. Make it a little tad bit more interesting. All right, so stroke, randomize. So let's just do a, let's validate the sphere, paint. We'll do a different color. We'll do a rough. Okay, so that's the regular paint. Let's go ahead and subdivide it so it doesn't look so crappy. still get that's okay all right so we have our sphere paint paints nicely so what does randomizer do let's see randomize oh so it's like freckles uh, let's do something darker So I'm guessing that if I just wanted to do like freckles, that would be nice. 
translation rotation scale what if i scale it down to i think maybe they made them smaller oh this is great though freckles just got so much easier if i made the scale 100 percent i don't really see them as being oh maybe it has to do with this oh they're boxes let's make them circular alpha there's an alpha little thing here nice so i'm gonna raise this so it's all completely filled so this this should be circular now right no they're still square hmm screen project oh that that gets crazy that gets nutty i don't know what that's about Okay, we're at that. I'm going to vote no for that one. Okay, so I guess, I mean, that'd be cool if, it, if they were circular. Let's see, what if I change this to a circle? Pretty sure I have a circle somewhere. I change that to a circle. Oh, now they're circular. So that's better for freckles. They're sort of like weird circles. But they're random, so I guess it's okay. Oh, no, this is weird. Let's do... What if I do that? Hmm. Okay, yeah, so you can, I guess, play around with all this stuff. I don't really know. Let's see what that does. Interesting. Okay, so now here's the fall off. Now, if I put it flat, there should be no... Yeah. Take symmetry off. Okay. What are these? I don't know what that is. Filter. Filter paint. Okay. Okay, so lock intensity. Oh. Well, that's freaking out. I don't know what that is. Not really that useful for me. Maybe because, oh, well, intensity is locked, so let's turn that off. I don't know what's up with that. Lock and radius. That's bananas. I don't know what that is. So we'll stick with dot. Stroke spacing. Okay. Intensity. Oh, is this still on flat? It feels it feels like it's on flat, and it is. Let's put that back here. That should be pretty good for like freckles. Let's let's give it a, a real try. So let's open this guy back up. I feel like he would. I feel like freckles would fit for him. Uh, would they be lighter or darker? I think they'd be a little darker. All right, so now we're in paint. That's fine. Oh, this is interesting. So we'll go to stroke dot. Intensity is 34. Is this darker circle still selected? Oh, alpha. Alpha is where the circle is. Let's see. Okay, it looks like it's the same as the other one. So let's let's see what we can do here. Wait a minute. What did I just do? Butt monkey. Okay, so now we have the color. Let's add a new layer and call it freckles. should probably take post process off all right so let's see what happens when we 
Try to freckle. Well, that's not that's not what we need. Okay, so maybe smaller. I'm gonna turn off symmetry. All right. So let's see if I, what do I need to do here? There's something I need to do. Lock. Oh, that's right, I forgot it gets nutty when I do that. Stroke spacing. Let's change this to flat and see what happens now. Oh, it's a little bit better. But I feel like they need to be spaced out a little bit more. If I can remember how to get to... Oh yeah, stroke spacing. So what if I do that? Rotation, scale. Let's turn the scale down. Let's turn the intensity up a little bit. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. That's That's kind of a little bit closer to what I'm looking for. Okay, well, he's freckled, at least. I think I wanted them smaller. Smaller and like a smaller, like, size. So maybe the stroke spacing down, intensity, rotation, scale. Maybe the scale down. It's kind of cool. I, mean, I think it works. Hopefully you can kind of see them. I don't really know how to make them a little more pronounced. Maybe if I use a darker color. Okay. Not right for this character, but cool nonetheless. So what else was there that I'm forgetting? Uh, Interface split stroke options into a new submenu. Okay, I think we saw that. Saving save new file was wrongly opening a project pop-up. All, all right. Uh, let's open. Uh, what should I open? I need to make a, um, a thumbnail for this. I don't, know what, I don't know what the thumbnail should be. You know what? I'll just make a new one of this character, even though he's going to have a bunch. So let's say I color him. Let's color him. Let's take the metalness off. Okay, so if I color him this beige color. Let's turn this off real quick so I can just color this easier. Let's give him some light blue eyes, but shiny. Maybe we should, maybe we should make his eyes look yellow. Like he's a creature. And for that, let's tag this color and let's make a lighter version. We'll do the same with the toe beams. Quick, easy peasy. Why does it look like the beans aren't subsurface? They are. Okay, so let's say we like this. Can't forget the tongue. 
So let's say we like this and we want to save it as a new scene. Save as, save as. Now will a pop-up pop up? Oh, it didn't. Nice. Okay, one more, one more test then. So now let's just regular save it. Okay. Um, let's try it one more time. Okay, cool. It didn't, it didn't pop up. I thought it was doing it before, but good. So that, cause that was kind of annoying too. All right, cool. So I think, uh, I think that's about it for 1.76, I believe. Let me come. Oop. But since I made him, I might as well, I might as well, uh, get a nice little scene of him too. But yeah, so that's 1.76, 1.77, uh, snap cube, partially depending on screen. I don't really know what that means. I have no idea what that means. Partially dependent on screen. Maybe it's like, maybe that's some bug that's over my head. I guess they're all over my head. Decimate, fish cra fix crash happening with UV mesh and non-uniform scale with parts without UVs. That's a little over my head. I don't know what that is. Instance, when joining multiple instances, keep the layers synchronized. That sounds good. Randomize, so like if I'm making an instance and I paint something and it's on 100 of them, I guess if I merge them, if I, I don't know. Randomize, symmetry supported. It looked like it was supported, but maybe not. Randomize, fix fall off for random samples. Okay, so there he's going to do some work on that too. Cool, I'll take it. Awesome. Uh, I like that the updates are coming. I like how accessible um, the developer is. I think that's really, really cool. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm digging it. Let's change, what color should we make the background? Let's change the background to... It's kind of nice, like kind of like a minty green. So since I did that, let's change the light. Let's change the edge light to that same minty green. Because that's what you do. So we'll change that to that. Oh, actually, it might, I might, that might be able to be like a darker. We really want it to show is green. I like that. Okay, cool. That looks good. We also have the background light we can fart around with. Maybe maybe a, a different color would make that more interesting back there. Maybe not. Kind of looks nice, just like a darker green, or like a different hue of green. I'll take that. Yeah, so 1.76, holla. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you're really serious about learning, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes. Just go to my website, drugfreedave.com. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing keep sculpting and I'll see you all in the next video.